Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today we will show you how to remove and replace front window motor Okay, for the window. That's the regulator motor on uh, Mercedes E-Class. That's from w, uh, that's the W211 from 2003 until 2009 model. Okay, that one right here. So if your motor is not working but the regulator is good, we'll show you how to replace the motor only. Stay with us, let's go ahead and do that now. Okay guys, so first, okay, we need to get a T20, Torx 20 bit. Okay, this one right here. And we'll need to remove, okay, that screw right there. Okay, we'll need to pull the cover out. You can see how it goes out. Careful not to break those because usually they're very, very breakable. Okay, next with the prying tool, we'll need to remove that cover. Okay, you can see right there. Let me turn the light on so we can see a little bit better. Okay, this is the cover. Okay, next you need a few screwdriver and there is one, one screw that you need to remove right there. Okay, and you can see the size of the screw now. Next. We need to go underneath right here and we need to remove that cover. Okay, you just pry it open, it has a few clips on it. Okay, let me get the light so we can see better. Okay, so we have the two screws that we need to remove here. The same, few screwdriver now. That's what we've been working with. Okay, like that. Next we need to remove the cover for the mirror right here for the tweeter so you just push it towards the back comes out okay that's the one you don't even need to unhook the tweeter all right so now with the prank too there is a few clips and a good thing guys uh, before you start doing that you probably should buy some replacement clips because those go bad usually sometimes they will break okay you can see we pop them like that and then you need to lift up we will need to unscrew, okay, this one, the unlock, you just unscrew it counterclockwise, okay, like that. And you need to come out of there, okay, sometimes they will be stuck really good, believe me. That's because it goes in the seal there. Okay, and you can see the panel came out, stay with us to show you where all the clips are. Okay, now we need to disconnect, okay, the cable right here. So you need to pull it over the back, go like that. And now you need to twist it in an angle, okay? And we'll need to disconnect all the wires now. Okay, so one person will need to hold the panel because those can go bad really, really easy. Okay, so press down and pull them out. Okay, let's see what else is holding there. Okay, this black one only. Sorry okay, guys, our clips didn't break, but sometimes they will and they're replaceable. We'll have the link on our website, mechaniclifestyle.com. So you can see two clips there, one in the corner, three on the bottom, one in the corner, and one more there. Okay, so that's where the clips are, you know, where to apply more pressure. Oh okay, guys, so now we need to pull the wires for the motor, for the window regulator motor right here. You squish on both sides, pull it out. Now we have three nuts, three bolts with a T30. This is the Torx 30. Okay, I'm talking about this one here, here, and one right there. And if you need to remove the regulator, we'll explain how to do that as well. Okay, so now you can grab the motor. Okay, still holding a little bit there. And it should come out. Okay, like that. You can see it's out now. That zip tie here, we'll just get rid of it and install a new one. Okay, and this is the window regulator motor, guys, right here. 
Not very complicated procedure to remove. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and see you guys next time.